Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I really hope that you're all doing well out there and that you're staying safe. I really hope that you're having a great December. So let's get into the video. If you're on Etsy and you don't have an email list and you don't know what an email list is or how to start one, then keep watching because this video is for you. So you might be wondering why you need an email list or why it's a good idea to have an email list if you're on Etsy. If you're bringing in customers and if you're making sales, if you are a success, then what's the point of having this extra thing, this extra email list? And that is a great question. Well, unfortunately, the platform that you're selling on or the private Facebook groups that you have, you don't own them. You don't have any control over them. And if, heaven forbid, something was to happen to Etsy or Facebook next month, you would lose all of that hard work that you've put into it. So an email list is great because you actually own it you own your email list. So those emails that you bring in, they're going to follow you wherever you go. So if Etsy, Facebook, if they were to shut down and you didn't have an email list, you would probably lose your business and you would probably have to start from square one all over again. You would be back to the start, having to find your customers, build up your brand, make those sales. So with an email list, if something was to happen, you would have that to fall back on. You would have those customers, those emails, and you will be able to reach out to them and you will be able to still sell your products and still make those sales with an email list. So it's just really great to have because unlike Etsy and the other platforms that you sell on, you own the email list. An email list is a group of people that already know your business and they already trust you. Another positive to having an email list is there isn't as much competition when you're getting emails. Now I know if you click into your junk email and you see the hundreds upon hundreds of companies that are sending you what sometimes feels like spam, it can get a bit overwhelming and you just want to hit delete. But with an email list, it's something different. You have signed up to this, this email list. You have signed up to this company because you trust this company and you want these emails. So I know email can seem quite overwhelming, but it's nothing really compared to if you're on Etsy or Instagram or even watching TV, you get bombarded with so many ads, so many products, so many options out there. But email is a great thing because if you're on your emails, you are checking your emails, you are reading your emails and you don't really have your attention going elsewhere. So like I touched on briefly before, these are people that want your business. These are people that have signed up to your email. They want to read your email. And these are people that know your brand, know you, and they trust who you are. Another reason why you should consider having an email list if you're on Etsy is because every time you send these people an email, they're going to get a notification and therefore you're going to be in the forefront of their mind. And if your subject line is eye-catching, they will click onto it and you will have their attention. So you can send out weekly newsletters or weekly emails and you are going to be in the forefront of these people's minds. So now that we've gone over some positives to having an email list and why you should consider having an email list, how do you go about creating one? There are a few options online and it can be kind of hard to weave between them to figure out which one is right for you. There is MailChimp, there is ConvertKit, and there is a few others out there. So I think it's great to do your own research to figure out which one is right for you, but I personally use ConvertKit. The ConvertKit is great because they have templates on there that you can use. You can change things like the font and the color. You can use your own photo or theirs. And you can also have a landing page. So that's great if you don't have a website, you can have a landing page which you can link to your social media, your Facebook, your free PDF download and things like that. And then, it, and then it's also great if you have a website because there is an option there to pop a page in on your website. So if you have an Etsy and your own website as well, then that is great too because they have the option to include a little form on your website and then if people click your email list, they will be taken to a form on your website to sign up. That's good if you have a YouTube channel and you also have a website as well. But how do you get people to click and to sign up to your email list if you're on Etsy? So some really great places for you to pop your Etsy sign up link is in Aftershop Messages. Another great spot to put your 
sign up link is in your shop announcement. This is a great spot because the people that have favorited your store and really like your products and your business, they will get the notification that you've popped up a shop announcement and they will be able to see that you have an email sign-in. It's also great because people that go onto your page, they will be able to see it there as well. Another good spot to pop it on Etsy is in the listing descriptions as well. So you can just pop it in there so that is an option for people to find it too. Another great place to put your email sign-up is on social media. So for example, if you have Facebook, you can do a whole post dedicated to the fact that you do have an email list and then pop the link in there for people. And you can also just give them a little bit of information about what it is and why they might, might consider joining. And also if you're on Instagram, you can pop it in your Instagram bio. So just pop the link in there and then that's always available. And you can also do an Instagram post or an Instagram story, letting people know and be aware that you do have an email sign up. But if you do set it up on Etsy with the discount code, they will be sent the discount code to use and they will also get the link to your email sign up. The shop announcements and things like that, if you're putting it there, it isn't obviously a clickable link. So in the shop announcements, you can just let them know that in the listing, they will be able to find the description. So that's how they're able to find it there. Having your email list available in all of these places, it's great because you're able to reach more people and that's more opportunities for them to sign up to your email list and for you to get them as email subscribers. So it's also good for them because they're able to get value out of your emails and don't forget down below in the description you can get your free Etsy SEO checklist I had a lot of fun creating it and I really hope that you guys enjoy it and get some value out of that let me know if you do download that and what you think of it because I would love for your input and advice so once you know what an email list is and where you should place it you might be wondering what do you send the people that have signed up so you can send out an automated welcome email, but that isn't unfortunately available in the free option on ConvertKit. But some other options to send out is weekly newsletters, like I mentioned before, just to let your community know what you're up to and if there's any updates in your shops and new products and things like that. I think it's really nice to send them a welcome email, even if it's not an automated email and you have to type it, then you can just keep it there as a template and send it out to people that sign up because it's just really nice to let the customer know that you do appreciate the fact that they did sign up to your email list and you do appreciate them being here and I think it's just nice for them to receive it and to know that they do appreciate it and not only are they getting something out of the email list but you are as well. I think it's also nice to send out weekly newsletters because the people that have signed up get to know more about you on a personal level, they get to know more about your brand and then they become more aware of what you do. So I think it's nice because then they're able to get a rapport with you and they're able to build up that trust there too. It's also nice to give the people that have signed up to your email list a discount code just to let them know that you do appreciate them and the, the fact that they did take the time out of their day to sign up to your email list and so you want to give them a discount code or an item for a really good price that is unique to the email subscribers. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments below if you did enjoy it. I always love to get your feedback and love to know if these are something that you want to watch. I would highly suggest after watching this video, you sign up to get an email list, whether that's ConvertKit, MailChimp or anything like that. Just do your research, figure out what one is right for you and what one has the features that you would like. I highly would suggest signing up straight away because an email list is just a little guarantee that no matter what happens, you are still in control of your business and you still have clients and customers that are there for you. So it is something that you should have and something that I would highly recommend. Thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.